All right, got the new Game of Thrones bundle. All right, so finally a Dr. Squatch collab that I'm familiar with. I haven't ever watched a Star Wars film or a Harry Potter movie, and I'd probably rather watch paint dry than do so. But I did watch Game of Thrones, at least the first seven seasons. I actually skipped the last season after hearing all the negative reviews and how they absolutely obliterated this beloved series. They took one of the greatest TV shows of all time and flushed it down the toilet. Now, Game of Thrones was not my personal favorite TV show, but it was for a lot of people. It's somewhere in my top 5 to 10 favorite shows. Not sure exactly where, but it's up there somewhere. But I will say, it is probably the most shocking show I have ever seen. I don't think there's ever been another series with as many genuinely shocking moments. It seems the most notorious shocker was The Red Wedding. And yes, that was extremely shocking. But to me, the most shocking moment, and I don't really hear a lot of people talk about it, but to me, the most shocking moment was actually the end of the pilot. The very end of the first episode. My mouth literally hung open in disbelief for like five minutes after the end of that episode because I just did not see that coming. Now I was late to the party. I started watching Game of Thrones a few years after it premiered. I wasn't even interested in watching it at first, but then I kept hearing all the hype about how good it was. So I finally watched for the first time after it had already been on for like three or four years. And as I was watching the first episode, I thought it was decent, but I wasn't a big fan of it like so many others were. And then the ending of the pilot episode, the very first episode, shook me to the core because I was not expecting that. I don't think I'd ever seen anything like that from a series before, and it conveyed that there are no boundaries and anything can happen at any time. Because if they'll do that, they will do anything. And then I was like, okay, I'm locked in now. Now you have my attention. So when I saw the announcement that Squatch is releasing some Game of Thrones bars, I thought that sounded interesting. So let's see if these bars do the series justice. Are these bars going to be quality like the first few seasons of Game of Thrones? Or are they going to be <laughs> more like the last season? I was actually considering doing a movie review channel. Let me know in the comments if that's something you'd be interested in. And in case you missed it, I recently did a video where I ranked all 59 bars in the Dr. Squatch catalog. I'll leave a link on the outro if you want to check that out. And currently, I am working on a new video ranking all of the Dapper Yankee bars in their catalog. If you're not familiar with them, they're another natural soap company like Squatch, but their scents are a lot different. Their bars are typically a lot more complex. Not saying they are better or worse than Squatch, just very different. They have a lot of bars I like more than Squatch, and then there are some Squatch bars I like better than them. There's a lot of great bars from both companies. So hopefully the Dapper Yankee rankings video will be ready in a week or so. When it's live, I'll leave a link on the outro for that one as well. Alright, so let's go ahead and get to these Game of Thrones bars. I'm going to open the package, give them the sniff test, and let you know how they smell. Then I'm going to pause the video, test them out in the shower, and I'll be back in a couple days to let you know how well they performed in the shower. All right, got my Dapper Yankee Wild Irish shirt here. All right, got it open. Here we go. All 
right, there they are. Basirian Freeze, Thousand Swords Scrub, and Dragon's Blaze. Okay, I haven't given them the sniff test, but the scents are coming in pretty strong. They actually, so far, smell pretty good. So the Fasirian Freeze is a zero grit bar, Thousand Sword Scrub a medium grit, and of course the Dragon's Blaze is going to be heavy grit. Alright, so first up, let's try Thousand Sword Scrub. My first impression is it smells decent. Let's go ahead and get it out of the box because sometimes that changes. Whoop. It's kind of soft. Some pieces came out. It's kind of like icy cologne. -y. It's it's not bad. It smells like another scent though. It smells very familiar but it smells decent. So that's my first impression out of the box. I'll be able to give you a better idea once I use it in the shower. All right, so let's go ahead and try the Vizerian Freeze. This is the Zero Grip Bar. Smells soapy in a way decent oh I like the way it looks yeah that looks nice okay I like the way this one smells okay so far it's kind of a soapy scent yeah I'd say just like the thousand swords scrub this also has a pretty nice kind of like an icy cologne scent but this one's a little louder but this one is also a little familiar also but I can't quite pinpoint yet what it smells like to me but like I said after I use them in the shower then I'll be able to provide more detail all right and last but not least dragon's blaze okay Okay, this smells a bit like the Stark Cleanse to me. Let's see. Yeah, Squatch is really running with that scent. The Stark Cleanse and Brick of Brave smelled very similar. And then even that Fuego Fresh smelled a bit like that as well. Yeah, this smells a lot like that too. But it's a different variation. It's not bad, it's decent. It's just very similar to a few of the other recently released bars. Yeah, you can even see it looks a lot like Stark Cleanse too. Yeah, this smells a lot like Stark Cleanse. But it's a little different. It's not identical, it's just very similar. All right, so my initial first impression is that I think they all smell pretty good. None of them stand out as great, but none of them stand out as bad either. But of course, as you know, my opinion can drastically change after using it in the shower. Hopefully, if my opinion changes, it will be positive and not negative. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video, test them out in the shower, and I'll be back in a couple days. Alright, I am back and unfortunately this has just become too much of a common occurrence with Squatch over the last couple years, but these bars were just very underwhelming overall. But out of the bundle, the one that I thought was the best overall was Dragon's Blaze. There's nothing bad per se about this bar. The only problem is that it just smells so similar to Stark Cleanse and Brick of the Brave. Got Stark Cleanse here and Dragon Blaze. They smell so similar, they even look the same. This is basically the same bar, except Dragon Blaze has grit. 
If there had not been a stark cleanse or a brick of the brave, and this was the first bar with this scent, then I would say this was a pretty good bar overall. It actually does do really well in the shower. I thought the grit was really good. It's a heavy grit. I don't think it's heavy grit though. I'd say it's more of a nice medium grit, but it's really good. So I will give the bar credit for that. So Dragon's Blaze is pretty good. It just feels recycled. All right, so here are the ingredients if you wanna pause and look it over. And next, Viserion's Freeze, which I think is definitely the worst of the bundle. This menthol scent just smells very generic to me. And there was no cooling effect. It didn't really feel like much of anything on my skin in the shower. Unlike Sudsy Bear's Icy Eucalyptus, this is an icy menthol bar. When you use this in the shower, it will literally cool you down. That's what the menthol crystals are supposed to do. But this, on the other hand, doesn't feel like anything. I do really like the way this bar looks though, but that's about the only positive thing I have to say about it. This bar was just very underwhelming to me. Here are the ingredients if you want to check them out. And Thousand Sword Scrub, I just used it and got out of the shower an hour ago or so. And this was really disappointing because this just smells nearly identical to King of the Bricks. Here's the King of the Bricks bar. Thousand Sword Scrub. These smell nearly identical. And Thousand Sword Scrub is supposed to be a medium grit bar, but it actually feels more like a light grit bar to me. So overall, this bar was just a big disappointment. It was just really underwhelming. I am just so tired of Squatch recycling so many of the same scents. These two bars seem to be nearly identical, except King of the Bricks is a little grittier. Here, I'll go ahead and post the ingredients for Thousand Sword Scrub. It seems ever since Squatch started selling in Walmart stores that their quality just went down the drain. It seems like most of their newly released bars just recycled the same few scents over and over. They do, on occasion, release a new scent that feels new and fresh, but it's becoming too far in between. The only two bars I can think of off the top of my head that I've really liked that they've released over the last couple years is the Bliss Brick Bar and the Liberty Lather Bar. The Headless Rinse was really good, but that's just a reformulated Drunken Pumpkin. It seems aside from those, that every bar just feels so generic and recycled. Dragon's Blaze smells so much like Stark Cleanse and Brick of the Brave. These three bars smell nearly identical. And at this point, the only reason I still support Squatch at all is because they have so many great classic bars. The OG Gold Moss Scrub is my favorite bar of all time. And I love the Wood Barrel Bourbon and the Fresh Falls, the Drunken Pumpkin, Stone IPA, the first Star Wars collection, Deep Sea Goat's Milk, Cool Fresh Aloe, and that new Brick of the Dead. All bars that I love. So because of those bars, that's why I haven't completely quit on Squatch. But I'm reaching the point where I'm about ready to just give up on any more of the new releases. They're probably not ever going to return to the quality they once had because they're making a lot more money now. They're really big. They're like doing mass manufacturing. They're selling at Walmart. So it seems that their only incentive now is to make money and not put out real quality. So they'll just take the same formulas and recycle the scents and just put them in a different package. They just figure people will buy whatever new releases they put out. And unfortunately, they're right. And they're gonna keep doing that as long as consumers are buying. So they'll take a bar like Legendary Lather and put Luke Skywalker on it, and then they'll take that same bar and slightly tweak the scent, and then put a dinosaur on it and call it Raptor Rush, totally repackaged, and just put it on the market, and people will buy both of them. And they know this, so they're not gonna stop doing it. It just seems gone are the days where they're going to release something new and fresh like Brick of the Dead or Stone IPA. 
those were very unique scents. And I can't even really recall any other natural soap companies that have scents like those. But Dr. Squatch is done being unique. They sold out and the quality has suffered. And I don't think they're ever going to return to their roots. So that's about it for this review. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Consider subscribing. Thanks for watching and God bless.